One of the most exquisite jets of its era was the Convair XB-46 prototype, a slim straight-wing aircraft with a novel pneumatic control system. It was never intended to terminate production or active duty. It was first created to counter the German Arado AR-234. The Needle, sometimes known as the Needle, used as a model for subsequent bombers of the post-war era. But Boeing's Stratajet, which went on to become one of the most well-liked bombers of the mid-1900s, eclipsed it. The forward wing swept XB-53 became a new focus as the budget changed and it became a model for future post-war bombers. German aircraft, the Arado AR-234 Blitz, was created to achieve air superiority in World War II. It was the first operational jet-powered bomber and the last aircraft of the Luftwaffe to fly over England. In addition to being fast enough to outpace, ground defenses and airborne interceptors. The Blitz was also useful for covert surveillance. With a maximum speed of 540 miles per hour, the AR-234 was one of the quickest aircraft of the war, and the U.S. Department of War was aware of the possible damage German technology could do to their sights. In an effort to compete, the Americans developed a jet-powered bomber that could carry more bombs than its German equivalent. The War Department placed requests for medium bombers with North American Aviation, Martin, Convair, and Boeing. The class of 45, this competition was called for an extremely high-flying jet-powered bomber created for the U.S. Army Air Forces. Other designs were the Martin XB-48, North American XB-45 and Boeing B-47 Stratajet. The XB-46 was regarded as one of the most beautiful jets of its day and was authorized as a mock-up of the Convair's proposal during World War II. Its straight-wing arrangement was provided by its thin aerodynamic fuselage, five magnesium spoilers on each wing and flaps extending over 90% of the span. The first aircraft with all pneumatic brakes, landing gear and bomb bay doors was the XB-46. Initially, J-35 engines and then General Electric J-47 engines powered it. The aircraft was designed to carry the twin gun, a 50 caliber heavy machine gun, and was capable of carrying up to 22,000 pounds in combat. Convair's emphasis on financial restrictions was impacted by the XB-46's progress being hampered by World War II budgetary limits. In 1945, the XA-44CO attack jet and the XB-46 bomber jet attracted the attention of the U.S. Army Air Force. The USAAF-funded XP-46 bomber project and the XA-44CO were in competition in 1946. On April 2, 1947, the Needle prototype took off for its first flight. Its 40,000-foot service ceiling, 450 mile per hour maximum speed, and 1440 mile per hour cruise speed were all highly commended by pilots. The Needle's early test results were mostly positive, despite its exceptional stability. Because of the USSR, US tensions, the US Army Air Force pursued an operable jet-powered bomber. Instead of competing as usual, they looked at the available designs to see which could be constructed most quickly. The Army Air Force had to select one of the two, North American B-45 Tornado or Convair's XP-46, for urgent manufacturing, since both were almost finished. Other concepts like the Martin XB-48 and the Boeing XB-47 were still in the planning stages and would not be completed until after flight. If the delayed Boeing B-47 prototypes outperformed the Convair's AMP North American Aviation prototypes, they would be put into production. Later, Boeing pounced, but for a while the U.S. Army Air Force believed that because of the North American b 45 smaller fuselage and elegant, classic design, it performed better. Compared to other aircraft of the time, the North American B-45 bomber's configuration posed fewer risks. The USAAF formally declared the creation of the tornado on August 2, 1946, 
at which point the needle's likelihood of manufacturing vanished. Still, the Army Air Force kept producing a lot of B-45s. On December 17, 1947, the Boeing B-47 made its first flight, and again, plans were altered. With almost 2,000 airframes produced, the Boeing B-47, popularly referred to as the Stratajet, was the Air Force's hallmark aircraft. Because of its versatile design, it was able to carry out a variety of tasks, including as electronic intelligence gathering, weather forecasting, and photographic reconnaissance. The Stratajet, which was never utilized as a bomber, was one of the most illustrious aircraft in the Air Force and continued to operate until 1969. A single prototype, the Convair XB-46 program, was formally cancelled in August 1947 after logging over 100 hours in the air and 64 flights. It was out of date due to the swift advancements in aviation and the changing circumstances. The Needle was flown to Edward Air Force Base in 1950 when its highly regarded pneumatic system was put to the test in harsh weather. The development of the XB-46 advanced the skill of large aircraft design and flight, however, it is not available for exhibition in an aviation museum at this time. The nose section of the only needle that has ever existed was transferred to the U.S. Air Force Museum in 1951, and the remaining needle was discarded in 1952. The only things left to preserve its heritage now are pictures, movies, and official Air Force documents. Although the XB-46 was superseded by a superior, more versatile aircraft, the Needle was a respectable design concept that performed admirably. With its forward-swept wings at a 30-degree angle, the XAA-44, later called the XB-53, was capable of reaching 580 miles per hour. Despite two orders for prototypes, none of them were ever constructed. To watch more videos on American bombers, click the link on the left. To watch more than two dozen videos on German aircrafts, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.